So, <clears throat> let's see what we're able to come up with here. I'm going to call on someone. Let's go to Tyler L. Tyler, what is our variable here? What's our unknown amount? The number of what? I said h equals hours. Ah, perfect. Yes, h equals number of hours here. Okay, great. Um, do you want to give us the inequality, Sue? Did you come up with that? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, what'd you get? I got 42h minus 75 equals 260. Okay, 42h minus 75. You said equals, but remember, we don't want to be equal to. We want to make more than. So what inequality symbol should I use? Uh, than. Yeah, greater than. More than $260, $260 a day, so we want to be greater than there. Okay. And I know, folks, like, Mr. Wibb, what's the difference? We used equations. We did problems just like this with an equation. And you're right, we did. But in this case, it does specifically say she wants to make more than 260 not exactly 260, more than 260. Okay? <clears throat> now, Tyler, why'd you put minus 75 there? Because she has to get her suit dry cleaned. And, is, and that's going to cost her money. Not She's not going to make that money. Let me finish going through this, and then maybe we'll let you go. And Mark's up next anyway, so he'll go, and then you can go. Okay? All right, so <clears throat> that's right. All right? Very good, Tyler. So then, Daniel, from this point, how should we solve? What should we do? Want to get that H by itself, right? So what's with the H we need to get rid of? Uh, the 42. Okay, and what else we got to get rid of? 75. Yeah, let's do the 75 first then, right? So add 75 to both sides. That's gone. We get 42H is greater than. And let's see, add that up there. That's going to be 335. Okay, and then Daniel? You got it flipped around. Divide both sides by 42. Oh, okay. We're dividing by 42. And I think, I think you... You meant to say this, you just missed it. That's all. I think that's what you meant to say, but yeah. And again, I just correct you just because I want to make sure you're, you know, saying it right too. All right, when we do this division, we get something like 7.976190476. <clears throat> in context, did you say uh, exactly right. So in context here, does this kind of number make sense for an amount of hours? No, okay? Some jobs do allow you to um, record like fractions of an hour, like my wife's work. I think there, she's allowed to record like, I want to say like quarter of an hour or something like that. But um, most jobs you have to make it to the, to the whole hour here. So if she wants to make greater than 260, she's got to work how many hours? Eight. Yeah, she's got to work eight, which would be more than that 7.97. So we'll just say here, eight hours of work or something like that, okay, per day. And she'll make more than 260. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go to number two here then. Your brother has $2,000 saved for a vacation. His airplane ticket is $637. Write an inequality to find out how much he can spend for everything else. Okay. Write an inequality to see how much he can spend for everything else. Okay. So this one shouldn't take too, too long, but it actually might be so simple that it's difficult here, but we'll see. So try that one out, number two. Number two. Okay. Your brother has two thousand dollars saved for a vacation. His airplane ticket is six hundred thirty-seven dollars. Write and solve any quality to find out how much you can spend for everything else. Okay. So identify your variable. Write the inequality. Solve.
Okay, so let's take a look here then. This one I think is maybe so, so simple, right, that it's like difficult. Like we can all figure out, right? I saw, I walked around, I saw a lot of people just did 2,000 minus 637. You're like, yeah, that's, that's how much he's got left over to spend. And I get that, that's right. <clears throat> okay, but let's actually write an inequality here, okay? So it's, we're gonna try to fi figure out how much he can spend, so we'll say that's X. X is the amount of money left. Okay, the amount of money left to spend, I guess I'll say. Okay, so he's budgeted, he's saved $2,000, right? So that $2,000 that he saved for the vacation, is he going to want to spend greater than $2,000? No, right, he's going to want to spend what? less than or equal to the $2,000, right? Maybe he wants to spend every last cent of that. So we're going to say less than or equal to 2000 because that's what we want to happen here, right? We don't want to spend more than that. We want whatever we spend to be less than or equal to 2000 Well, what do we spend money on? Well, there's the airplane ticket, 637, plus everything else, okay? So there's the inequality right there. 637 for the airline ticket plus everything else must be less than or equal to 2000 Okay, and then you guys know what to do from here. You subtract the 637. Okay, just like that. One thousand three hundred sixty-three. Okay. So whatever he has, whatever he spends on the rest of the vacation, it has to be less than one thousand three hundred sixty-three dollars. Has to be less than equal. Number three, your local bank offers free checking for accounts with a balance of at least $500. At least means what inequality symbol? Greater than, or equal. greater than or equal to. So we want the balance to be greater than or equal to $500. Suppose you have a balance of $516.46 and you write a check for $31.96. Okay. So we have a balance of $516. 46, whoops, I wrote 49 when I said the word 46 there. All right, let me just redo this here. 516.46. And we write a check for 3196. How is that going to affect the balance in our account? If you're writing a check, what's that going to do to the balance of our account? It's going to do what? Subtract. subtract, yeah, we're going to subtract. We're going to lose money, exactly right. So minus that check of 3196, how much do you need to deposit? So then we're going to say X is the amount we deposit, okay? And how does a deposit affect the amount of money in your bank account? What does that do? When you deposit money, what does that do to the amount of money in your bank account? It makes it do what? Add. add. You add to it, right? So we're going to add X, right, this unknown amount. And again, we want it to be um, greater than or equal to... 500. Okay, so we don't get hit by a fee. Banks love to hit you with fees. Okay. The worst fee is if you have money in your account and you try to withdraw more money than that is in your account, then they charge you money to do that. You're like, my account is already empty, and now you're charging me more money on top of that because I my account. But anyway, that's happened sometimes. So there's, there's our inequality, okay? So to solve this, all right, Alex, how can we maybe go about solving this here? What, maybe good, what, would, be good, what would be a good first step? I would add the original. Okay, good idea. Yeah, well, so just do that. 516.46 minus 31.96. Combine them, right? 484.5 plus x is greater than or equal to 500. Okay, and then finish this off there, Alex. What do we do now? Um, to solve for x. Solve yeah, so what's the last step? Huh? What's the last step to get the x by itself there? Uh, you subtract one of the variables. Like yeah. X. yeah, you got it. Good job. Okay, so x is greater than or equal to 15.5. 
So you better make sure that you deposit at least $15.50 or else they're going to start charging you for that free checking account. Questions on any of that? Feeling good about it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to. I'll get you that in a second, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do... Actually, you guys go ahead. Try number... Four and number five there, okay? So go ahead, try those two now on your own. Okay, again, identify the variable. Okay, write the inequality. Hello, Rohan, I know why you're here. It's over there in the corner. I put it there for safekeeping. Thank you. You're welcome. Notebook and calculator, right? Yes. Okay. Okay, so four and five, try and read those, come up with a uh, variable, and then write an inequality and solve it, please. Okay, so go ahead, four and five, give those two a try. Sucker or something like that, let me know. I'll be happy to help. Anyone stuck? Anyone needs some help? Okay, so this is perfect. The best way to do it is go ahead and choose your leads. Okay? Um, so we're, we're basically we're comparing two different cases. Less 
Right, try the, I mean, don't draw the right, but if you got four, go ahead and move on to five, okay? Yes, good. What numbers, what, what number though, um, what number of weeks would it have to run? Oh, actually, one second. So you look at here, when you divide both sides by 30, you have an X, the, the mouth, it's going to be the X, right? When you flip it around, Side, and you flip it to the X on the left uh, side, and you have to flip it to the X, so the X is greater than X. Which means that just after eight of these, it will be multiplied. Yeah, okay. And it's greater than 17. So it's still an X is greater than 17, but it's and still it's 18. Yeah. Okay. So, so the first one here, right? Daily income, B, 650 plus 8. That's great so far. $8 per week. To it, and then we're gonna we're gonna relate to them within the quality scale. <coughs> have some classwork though after this so I could go over but I don't think we're gonna have homework though not today tomorrow though okay folks let's take a look at four and five or at least number four because I know some of us still you know um, are working on five but let's take a look at number four here real quick okay so first of all we need to identify what is the variable here okay so let's go to uh, Tyler L Tyler L for number four what's our variable in this case the number of what Okay, W is number of weeks. Very good, Tyler. Okay, very good. Okay, let's move on then. Uh, let's see here. So then the inequality we're going to write, the daily info charges a fee of $650 plus $8 per week. So, Shepard, were you able to set up the inequality here for number four? Okay, well, let's work with me here and let's just see what you got. So tell me what you wrote. Okay, plus 80, and it's per week, so I'm going to put my variable right there next to it. So 650 plus 80W, okay? And then for the other paper, Shepard, what will we write? 140. Uh-huh. 110. And again, for this one, another W next to it. Oh, man, handwriting, Mr. Wid. 650 plus 80W, 140 plus 110W. Okay. 
And then we want to know for how many weeks must an ad run for the total cost at the daily info to be less than this one. So we're going to use the less than symbol here. Okay, and now we'll solve. I'm going to go ahead and just solve it right now because I feel like you guys are pretty good at solving this stuff. Okay, but there's the setup. So Erica, did you get to see the setup for this one? The setup was a little bit different there. You have the paper here, the paper here, and stuff like that. So, okay. So let's see, that's going to be plus 30 W, and then I'll subtract 140 here and subtract 140 there. And we're left with 510 is less than 30 W. And then we'll divide both sides by 30. Okay, and then 510 divided by 30 gives us 17. So 17 is less than W, or W is greater than 17. So either this or this. Okay. With an answer like that, how many weeks would you actually have to run for the daily info to be less expensive than the people's paper? 18. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hang on. 17. 17. Now I'm looking at this problem. I think I might have, I might have the same people that answer with 18, but I'm looking at this. Who would be less expensive? Okay, yeah, we would be we need 18 weeks. 17 wouldn't cut it. 17 wouldn't cut it. 18 would, right? 18 works in this inequality, but 17 does not. Okay, let's do the next one here. All right, number five. Michelle's attending a community college. She needs at least. At least means what inequality symbol? Greater than or equal to 120. She receives three credits per course. She already has 87 credits, so 87 plus three credits per course. There it is. So X is the number of courses. Uh, well, we know the credits per course is three credits per course. We know that number. We don't know how many courses. That's what we need to know. Okay, number of courses. And so then we can just solve this, right? Minus 87 on both sides. So we get... 3x is greater than or equal to, let's see, 3, 13, 33. And so divide both sides by 3. x is greater than or equal to 11. So she would have to take how many courses to graduate? 11 or more, right? She could take 11 or more. Okay. Let's stop there. We'll go over number 6 um, tomorrow, I think. Okay. What I want to do instead, because I want to give you guys time to get started on... The practice test. Okay, so we I've got two test reviews for you. We're gonna do one today. We're gonna start on it today. Okay, I'm not gonna make it homework. Okay, some of you, if you came in for my set today, you already got this. So I'd like you to get this out and continue to work on it. Okay, I want to highlight a few things here, real quick. Okay, one thing you'll notice at the top. You'll see that there's a little phrase here that says calculator active. That means you may use your calculator for this page and for this page, but then on the very back, you'll notice it says non-calc. There will be non-calculator questions here that you'll have to solve. Now, you can look at these and see some of these aren't going to be too bad. Okay? Here you're just writing the algebraic expression. Here you're solving a simple inequality, and here you're choosing the correct inequality for the phrase. Okay, so there is going to be some non-calculator, but I think you should be okay without the calculator on those. Everything else is calculator active. Okay, take this seriously. Okay, if you follow this and the other review that I'm going to give you tomorrow, okay, if you look at those both, you will have a very good understanding of what is expected for the test. Okay, if you want some additional expectations of what you can expect to see on the test. I kind of put them over here, okay? You should be able to say, you know, you should be able to say, truthfully, I can set up and solve an inequality from a word problem. I can set up and solve an equation from a word problem. I can solve a literal equation for a given variable, and I can write, interpret, an algebraic expression. I can convert use it, units using dimensional analysis, and I can solve or set up a proportion as well. Okay. All those things you should be able to do. All right. I do have those quizzes. I have to get those back to you here, too. Shepard, that's Ben, sorry. Shepard was sitting there earlier, that confused me. Okay, or oh, he's over there. Anyway, anyway. Sorry about that, Ben. Shepard's got one. And Mark's got one already. Megan, Dennis, Lori.
cracking on this, folks. I'd like you to work on this up to the end of class, okay? I'm not going to make it homework, but I would recommend that you look at it, right, okay? And I would suggest you start studying and, and use this as a good study tool, okay? So let's move through. Let's remain time in class to work on this, okay? It won't be homework, but if you want to be successful, I'd recommend you do work on it for homework, but I won't make it mandatory, okay? <coughs> Yeah, if you have any questions, you're unsure about something, we'd be happy to help you out. <clears throat>